Today we are starting a brand new series going through a load of different seasons and time periods of Fortnite and looking back on them, reflecting on how good they actually were, considering the entire history, standout moments and what made them so iconic, starting right at the beginning with Season 1. Season 1 launched in October 2017, and in all honesty it wasn't the best season, there were a lot of bugs and bad things about this season, which is expected as the game was so new, but it set the groundwork for what Fortnite is today. This was the season where we received the first ever update, which was the Halloween update, where we received new skins like the Skull Trooper, and new weapons like the Pumpkin Launcher. This was very refreshing, and one of the standout moments from this season. And this was the season where a lot of streamers burst onto the scene. People like Mr. Grimms, who was probably the most popular streamer during this time, although he stopped playing the game shortly after, he was pulling thousands of views and dropping very high kill games, showcasing his incredible gameplay. Other people include Ninja, TSM Myth, and a few others. People were just having fun, and there wasn't really any competitiveness. If you played back then, then you'd know what I mean. The game was so simple, there were only solos and squads game modes, there were no LTMs, creative wasn't even a thing, it was just a basic menu with Battle Royale as the only option. If you loaded into a game, everyone was defaults running around the map, not knowing what they were doing. Nobody even built. Maybe the occasional player would place a wall, but other than that, it was very rare to find this. One of the most memorable moments from Season 1 was a very iconic clip, which included TSM Myth having a build battle with a fellow streamer in Summit. This was probably one of the most popular clips from this season, and it really was the beginning of the building era. This really set the standards for building. It was one of the first ever build fights in the history of the game, where Myth was building a tower and Summit was trying to catch up to him. The reason as to why this clip went so viral is because this was literally unheard of. People barely built walls and ramps, let alone huge towers and having build battles. So that was the reason as to why that went so popular. And it was one of the moments that put Myth on the map making him one of the biggest streamers during that time. But let's talk about something that did make the season slightly better, 50v50. This was the first ever LTM and it was added a few days before season 2 released. It was an LTM where there were two teams of 50 and the last team alive wins. It was really fun and a lot of players miss this, Although it didn't really go the way Epic intended, where they probably expected players to be building huge fortresses and forts, but that wasn't the case at all, people were just running around, shooting weapons and not really knowing what was going on. If you watched the trailer then you'd definitely know this, Epic Games definitely planned on having people build forts to have battles, but that wasn't the case at all, but it was still an amazing LTM. The game was so young that there wasn't even a battle pass during this season. This wasn't even a thing back then, the first one was in Season 2. There were a few skins in the item shop, but they were all very basic and simple, especially compared to skins nowadays. Some of the standout ones include Renegade Raider, which is very rare now, and it's crazy comparing these item shops to shops nowadays. This one for example only had 4 cosmetics available, and shops now have over 100 items that you can buy. The map was simple but effective, it had iconic locations like Retail Row and Salty Springs, very empty with lots of open spaces, but it made the game feel exciting. Walking around on an island that nobody knew that well, exploring it and getting to know parts of the map, especially the left half of the map having only 3 POIs. This season was really the birth of Fortnite, with the future seasons really taking the next step in levelling up. The loot pool was simple, regular AR, shotgun, SMGs, just the basic stuff, no mythic weapons or anything like that, and it's crazy how simple the game was. I can't imagine showing a season 1 player the game nowadays, they'd think it was some sort of alternative reality. But something that we have to talk about is friendly fire, you could literally eliminate your teammates, 
If you went into a squads game, this was an issue back then, and there was a clip that went viral with Ninja accidentally eliminating his own teammate during a duos game. He didn't even realise it was his teammate until his chat told him, and then he had to back out to make sure he didn't get banned. The season was basic, but there were so many bugs in the game. Although nostalgic, Season 1 was not good in terms of gameplay. For example, you couldn't even build through objects. If a tree was near you, it wouldn't let you place builds. But this season really set the foundation for future seasons, allowing Epic Games to improve the game and bring a new sense of excitement the following season, where we received the first ever battle pass and map updates. And that's what we'll cover in the next episode. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And for now, there's a load more videos on screen here. Make sure to click another one to keep on watching. And I'll see you over there.